I am a military veteran. I've been on the streets for nine years. It's time we make a change. It's time for change, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. They bring flavor to our streets, right? They, they bring a sense of a small town in the big city of New York. Uh, the street vendors bring a lot, a lot of good to the city. They're out there on the street every day. They're making sure everything is safe. Um, they really know the neighborhood, in fact. Um, uh, you know, last year, just in Times Square, there was a bomb uh, that was going to go off, but a street vendor saw a smoking car and alerted the police. So these are the people that really have the eyes on the street. The main problem that vendors have that we see here at the Street Vendor Project is tickets. <laughs> vendors get tickets every day, 26,000 tickets, actually more than that, but at least 26,000 tickets last year. And it's not just the tickets, and these tickets are for minor violations, most of them, like vending a foot too close to the crosswalk or having your license in your pocket as opposed to wearing it around your neck. Little things, but the, the police and the health department go after vendors. Whether it's to raise money or just to harass the vendors, we're not sure, but there's an incredible enforcement mechanism and effort against these people. I need that the guy makes the law and when he changes the law about the situation, that's it. We need to change the law. Of course, you know, it's not fair. I'm a lawyer too, I'm a chemical engineer and a lawyer. Yeah. And those business because it's what I know for, for my family, yeah. that's it. We, well, we go out in the streets, we talk to street vendors, we try to get them organized so they'll have a, more power and they'll be able to affect some of the policies uh, that directly affect them here in New York. And we also provide uh, other services for them. Eventually we want there to be uh, some measure of greater respect and um, uh, more progressive policies both uh, written down into the laws and also reflected in the attitudes of the people who make the laws and who make the decisions in our city and our society. The city has placed uh, so many you know, obstacles uh, in, in the place of street vendors and it's really hard for them uh, to make a viable business so we're hoping to make it easier. Officers are being nice sometimes, but then the officer lose the job. They go against the officer. Why you, you don't do this? If you get a ticket, what will happen? What will happen, I'll, they'll put me out of business. Okay. Then I'll become homeless. Oh, we have a campaign we've been doing for over a year now to lower these fines uh, legislatively by actually changing the law. Um, that's it's required that we go through city council, that's the body here in New York City that makes the laws, and uh, so that's what we've been doing for over a year. No more thousand dollar fine! No more thousand dollar fine! Taco to tamales to other products in the city. They make they part of the landscape of the city. When we see the movies about New York City, we usually see like a yellow taxis or we see like a street vendor in the street. And I hope that a thousand dollars fine is too much. I've been a street vendor for nine years. I'm a military veteran, and the fines are outrageous. And all of these people are here today so that we can have the fines reduced back to its original two hundred fifty dollars. I'm here with the Street Vendors Project um, and, uh, and uh, several hundred street vendors across New York City to stand up uh, for their rights. Currently, uh, street vendors across New York City receive outrageous fines, up to $1,000, and they continue to escalate for unrelated offenses. How it's gonna be? Yeah, how, how Maybe be not more than twenty-five dollars. That's it, okay. or no What's more. Happening that's here? it, because I bet you, nobody in the city, especially in Manhattan, is say twenty-five feet from the store or everybody. 
you need to the store. The store open front of you to be 25. This is unfair, right? Uh, sure. I mean, uh, over the years, there have been a number of a number of successes. For example, uh, they used to not provide any translators for street vendors at the court, uh, where they uh, go to uh, hear their tickets, yeah. and so vendors wouldn't have any idea what was going on in the hearing. So, with the help of this organization, we pushed the city to provide translators. Yeah, we've got a great response. We've got a majority of the city council members actually are are sponsoring these two bills that would lower the fines, and it's just a matter of getting a hearing and then hopefully getting a vote. So we're in sort of the final push um, to, we believe, and you know, we believe we're very close to getting these laws passed because the council members have been very supportive. Win the battle of vendoring in New York City.